hello guys welcome back today we are going to be uh, doing our devotional for today uh, July 24th to 2020 we're going to be reading from Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 1 through 8 and um, today's devotional title is not uh, now not later now not later okay Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 1 through 8. But we're going to start with a little prayer before. Father God, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for another wonderful day. Every day is good for us to be grateful for the things that you allow to allow us to have, for the things that you don't allow us to have, for the things that you don't uh, um, per, uh, give permission to happen, for all the uh, protection that you give us, all the blessings that you set up from yesterday to today, and the ones that you set up for today, for tomorrow, and et cetera, et cetera. Uh, because it has been amazing. You have been great, great with us, and, and you have been faithful. We thank you, thank you, thank you for all those wonderful things. Please teach us to be not just um, grateful, but also to understand how important it is to look for you when we are young, when we are in those dates uh, that pretty much we, uh, the things that are easier uh, because we are uh, strong, we are, you know, have youth, we have uh, all the uh, strength in our body and mind and soul and everything and pretty much we don't know what to do with it. Please teach us to look for you, look, seek for you and every single moment of our life and to understand that everything that you have for us is better than whatever we can find or work for it thank you very much i ask you for a special blessings for those uh, boys and girls every adult every people who's watching this video they're um, pretty much they're going to be uh doing and watching it during this day or tomorrow or next week next month i don't know but bless them bless them bless them also for uh, people who are sick, please heal them. People who are uh, propense to be uh, uh, contag uh, contagious uh, or uh, pretty much they already have the virus, please heal them as well. Uh, save them. In the name of Jesus, I ask you these things. Amen and amen. Okay, we're going to be reading from Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 1 through 8. It says, Remember your Creator in the days of your youth, before the days of trouble come and the years approach when you will say, I find no pleasure in them, before the sun and the light and the moon and the stars grow dark, and the clouds return after the rain, when the keepers of the house tremble and the strong men stop, when the grain grinders cease because there are a few and those looking through the windows grow dim when the doors to the streets are closed and the sound of grander fates when people raise up at the sun at the sound of birds but all their songs grow faint when people are afraid of heights and of dangers in the streets when the almond tree blossoms and the grasshopper drags itself along and desire no longer is stirred. Then people go to their eternal home and mourns go about the streets. Remember him before the silver core is severe and the golden bowl is broken, before the pitcher is shattered at the sprint and the wheel broken at the well, and the dust returns to the ground it came from, and the spirit returns to God. Who gave it meaningless meaningless says the teacher everything is meaningless as always I recommend you guys to read the whole chapter for you to have the whole context but just by these eight verses pretty much it let us know how important it is for us to look and seek the Lord and keep it in our heart and allow him to uh, teach us all the things that he had for us because it's better than anything that we can look for of ourselves. Today we're going to read about John. Our devotional it says, John was, a pro John was a procrastinator. He put off doing homework, doing chores, 
return phone calls and anything else that took more effort than he felt like giving at the moment. He had a fun personality and lots of friends. Johnny's mom and had immigrated from Korea and had seen miracles of God with her own eyes. She raised John in church and begged him to follow Christ. But Johnny just laughed and told his mom that when he was old like her, he would find time for that stuff. Johnny lived his life on his own terms and ended up battling alcoholism and depression. His daughter has no time for him and he never met his grandson. Johnny's life would have more joy and less pain if he would have followed Christ as a young man. In Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 1 says, Remember your Creator in the days of your youth, before the days of trouble come and the years approach when you, say, you will say, I find no pleasure in them. Just that happened to John. Well, you don't need to make every decision about your adult life as a teen. But the one decision that everyone should make as soon as possible is to follow Jesus and make him the make him the leader of their lives. Just like uh, you guys. If you already make the decision, congratulations. If you're not making the decision, do it now, not later. Okay? With this with this in mind, I want you to answer two questions. Ready? First question. What are some advantages to follow Christ as a young person? What are some advantages to follow Christ as a young person? What are some advantages to follow Christ as a young person? Remember to pause the video, answer the questions, think the question, answer the question under comments, and we follow it. Second question. When did you decide to follow Jesus? When did you decide to follow Jesus? If you're not making that decision, you can make a decision right now, now, not later, now. Accept Jesus in your heart as a Lord and Savior, and you can repeat this, this uh, prayer. Jesus, I accept you as Lord and Savior of my life. Please be with me. Write my name in the book of life. Be my Lord, be my God, I accept you. Amen and amen. If you did this prayer, congratulations. If you did it before, congratulations. Answer these two questions. See you next time. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.